check out this weird bubbles I don't know what it is exactly we're just down in this little creek area down here down in the metro parks and I was looking through all these little rocks to see if there's any crayfish I ain't see anything it's a little cold but my girlfriend pointed out this here bubble thing she's uh deciding to try and walk on the rocks now and i hope i catch her and she falls that would be funny i think she's trying to I don't see any, like, actual trash in it that, like, I can but out. i did see some fish down here a couple little tiny minnows of some sort down the bottom of this little creek over here sorry about the shakiness I'm still using my phone but when I first came in right down here I doubt you can see it because it's super dark but right in that general area in this little pool I seen like 30 little minnows um, I got a Gatorade bottle but as soon as I drink it I'm gonna make a little fish trap try and catch some of these guys see what they are all right thank you so I was just going through this creek here and I was flipping rocks and uh, I seen this guy I'm not sure exactly what it is I'm almost positive it's a caterpillar that fell into the water he was like struggling to survive so when I picked him up he kind of crunched into my hand um, I'm hoping he's not drowned I'm gonna see if I can set him on a rock and see if he crawls away or a stick or something and if he starts crawling then I'm gonna say he's a caterpillar if not, I'm gonna try and set him in the water, and if he seems like he's swimming, he's some sort of larvae. So let's walk over to this stick over here. See if I can set him down on here and see if he uh, will crawl away or not. And he looks like he's still alive. He's moving and he's fighting me a little bit. So pretty sure he's alive and I'm almost positive by the way the body looks that it's a caterpillar I think he just fell in the water off one of these trees and uh, needs a little break from trying to fight the current but what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna set him back in the water in my hand and see if uh, he swims I'm gonna get a little container okay so I got a little container here I'm gonna set him in the water Definitely not a water animal. He uh, curled up into a ball as soon as I set him in there. So he's definitely a caterpillar. And uh, we're gonna let him go over here on this little grassy land area by this tree so he can survive. Hopefully, become a butterfly of some sort or a moth. Set him right there. Set the camera. I set the little guy right there. Hopefully he uh, can figure some situation out. I'm a, oh, look at him. He's starting to move. He's starting to move. Oh, he's starting to move. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, yeah, he's a caterpillar. Oh, he's cool looking, too. Trying to come check it out. Girlfriend's trying to climb this hill here, and she don't want to get in the camera. Trying not to block out my video here. Come on, buddy, you were doing okay. Let's see, let's see you move, man. All right, well, he was just kind of chilling, relaxing a little bit, moving. So I'm gonna leave him here, and hopefully, I'm gonna come cover him up with a leaf or something. Hopefully, right he, there's, a oh, there's a big old leaf right here. I'm gonna pluck this leaf here, kind of set it over this guy. Oh, damn, I knocked him down. Sorry, little guy. I'm trying to be gentle. Caterpillars are pretty durable, but they're uh, also got really soft body. So, I'm gonna set the leaf up there like that, and we're gonna go find a new location. Okay, so the plan is to 
make a fish trap. I'm gonna use this is McDonald's cup right here, or Burger King cup that I found. I'm gonna use that. A little bit of fishing line. I got a little bread and some cat food in there. And I got a bucket just in case I catch anything. Another bucket just in case. I get something that I want to not put with that bucket and then my live well but I think I'm gonna take that live well and I'm gonna make it into a fish trap as well um, I'm gonna rig it up so I'll let you watch while I do that the plan with this I think I'm gonna take like a twig or two or one that's got like a little L shape like that and then I'm kind of gonna shorten it enough to get this opening open and I'm gonna put one end in this little slot here and I'm gonna put one end in the one of these skinnier holes so that when I bait it and I toss it in the fish have somewhere to swim into and then hopefully I can pull it up in time to get a some fish we'll find out I'm down here in the metro parks and as you can see that splash right there that was a huge fish just jumped out the water and I got it on camera oh my god there's another one that is amazing I have no clue what's going on here that was crazy I think they might have been uh, trying to catch some fish my girl's gonna be super jealous I just saw that she's gonna be really really mad so this is the pond I'm at down here in the Metro Parks of Cleveland. That's my girlfriend, Kristen. I'm sure you'll learn about her sooner or later. But uh, I'm gonna bait up, bait up these traps real quick. I'm gonna see if she wants to record for me while I'm doing that. Hey, babe, you just missed it. Oh, there's a turtle right there. He just popped his head up. There's two turtles. There's a bunch of turtles. There's like five turtles in here. I wonder if I'm gonna catch a turtle. I'm gonna try and catch a turtle. I have two turtles at home. If I can catch a turtle here, I will take it home and I will have another turtle. Not right away. She's not super happy about it, but if I catch a wild turtle here, I'm sure she's gonna fall in love. It's right there. There's the little turtle I want. You see him? See him right there, little guy. And I think if I put some stuff inside this big trap here, I might actually be able to catch him. And I believe he's a little slider turtle. All right, he went back under the water. So what I'm gonna do here is bait my traps, and then uh, I'm gonna let her record me for a second. I'll take this for a second, and record me. Do you want me to wait, like shut it off, and then? No. Oh. Got a little bread. Hold on, that this all the way zoomed in. Baby. Sorry. Oh yeah, I still got it zoomed in. Yeah. I'm still learning. I'll get there eventually. Sun's in my eyes. You can't even see your face. I got some bread. Cat food. Do the same thing for this one. I'm ready to see that food in there. See if I can catch me something. So now what I gotta do is I gotta poke a little hole in here, tie some string to it so I don't lose my my thing and my bob. And then same with that one.
know what I'm doing now. All right, it's a little bright out here, but I was able to bait and string up my uh, trap here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step out on this log. Woo! All right, hold on. Oh, put one in the water. All right, back here. I'm step out on this log. Ah! Uh, oh! Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try this again. This time, I'm not gonna step out on the log. I'm gonna step out right here, and then I'm gonna heave my trap. But I want to tie it off to my hand so I don't lose it, because that would be horrible, because this ain't my uh, fish thing. Dan, thanks for letting me use it. I want to get out by the turtle. I really don't want to fall. There we go. A little bit, a little bit. Alright, here I go. Oh, that was horrible. I got an idea, I got an idea. That was bad. Oh, I got water in there. Nice. Alright, that's what I wanted. There you go. See, buddy? Yeah, there you go. That's exactly what I wanted, right there. Ain't that deep. So, I'm gonna tie it off. I'm gonna try and shove a uh, stick with it. Don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we'll see here in a second. Take this stick right here. Give it a shove off. Right. Hopefully it sinks the rest of the way. Oh. Ah! All right, here with the Van Kirk guy. So I learned you can't make a fish trap out of these. These tubes right here are filled with floating buoyant items. So every time I tried sinking this thing, it would cause me to fall in the lake, which you will see later, and not sink. So I was getting upset, but I learned by reading the, the packaging. Um, so I'm going to set my other trap now, and that's all I got. So hopefully this is a good video. Okay, so I have a little dinky trap set right there. It didn't really work out as well as I wanted either, but there's bread and uh, cat food in there. There's still her pet goose right there. And then right down there, I don't know if you can see it or not, but right underneath that log, I have another trap set with that uh, buoyant tra uh, fish thing holder. Uh, I laugh out loud. But hopefully we get something in there. I kind of just got it set in there, held down by that log. So hopefully a fish or a turtle will swim in there. We're going to give it about a half hour. Check them out. Don't think we're really going to get anything. But while we're doing that, I'm going to come over here and check out this goose. What's your name, babe? Goosey Goosey. Goosey Goosey. Look at her getting some food, man. It'd be so cool to see her snatch up one of them bass that jumped out earlier. I still want that turtle. He's over here somewhere too. But right now we got our good friend, the goose. All right, so once I check that uh, deal, I will let y'all know. All right, so this is the big trap. I don't think I got anything to be honest with you, but still a fun to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and fucking bass out there, man. I want that bass bad. I'm gonna come back here with a fishing pole and some gear, and we're gonna catch that bass, guys. That's what we're gonna do. Try and pull this guy. My door shut. My door shut. Okay. Out of the water now. Don't know if I got anything, but it's definitely full of water. We'll dump it in the bucket and find out.
No. no. Not a fish in here. To be honest with you, this water kind of smells horrible. And not even a crayfish or nothing. I mean, like I said, it's kind of cold anyways. All that food will become food for other animals in a minute. So. I'm gonna check this little one real quick. Hold on, hold on, you're stuck. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Hold on, one second. No fish in that one either. So, always collect your garbage when you're done. So you don't kill any animals. I think that's like poop or something. But yeah. Check, collect your garbage, put it in your bucket. All right. Thanks for watching. Come watch the Van Kirk Way. Subscribe, like the videos. And hopefully, I have some more for you. Okay, the Van Kirk Way. So, I was driving through the Metro Parks and I seen a deer on the side just chilling. So, I'm going to try and get close to it. There he is. Where'd he go? He's up there. See him? Oh, there's a bunch of deers. It's like three of them. Yeah, there he is. There's a bunch of them. That's cool as shit. Hey, buddy. I don't want him to attack. Oh, he took off. He took off. See him? Oh, I didn't want him to run away. There's too, many tra too much traffic over here. But if I can get somewhat close, that'd be awesome. I am the deer stalker. Ouch. Barefoot here. Walking in mud. You're all right, dude. I ain't going to hurt you. I ain't gonna hurt you. You can stay. Yeah, you're all right. I am within 20 feet of this deer. Hey, hey. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay, bud. You're okay. Oh, man. This is awesome. Hey, buddy. Hey, dear bud. What's going on, man? How's it going, bud? The whole little pack of y'all. What you doing? You guys are huge. Look at that big old buck right there. Hey, bud. Can I say hi? Oh, you are purdy. Sorry about the shaky of the thing. Oh, he's coming towards me. All right, it's getting me a little. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna back up a little bit. He started coming at me. I literally was just talking shit about. Oh, all right. Every time I step in, he gets a little closer. I got a little scared for a second there because uh, I was talking a little crap to my girlfriend. And she says that a deer would beat my ass. And uh, that it would get a million views. Which at this point, I think it will. You see him stomp his feet at me, man? I think he's trying. I think he's about to attack me, dude. Ooh, yeah. All right, I'm done. I'm going to leave you all alone now. Alright, come watch the Van Kirk Way for more crazy videos, dude.